You know, when I was younger, I always wanted to live in cities. I loved cities. And I thought for sure I would always need to live in a city. But my attitude towards urban environments has changed rather drastically. To be frank, I find cities increasingly repulsive and horrifying on a visceral level. Especially in England, people are just piled on top of each other. And you know, I used to be attracted to the density, because I used to think that from this density, great, interesting, and creative things tended to flow. It's widely believed that cities are hubs of creativity, and one of the reasons I was always drawn to cities is because I thought that's where all the creative people went. I thought they were places just overflowing with open-minded, ambitious, non-conforming types. But then you live in cities for a while, and you realize the people who flock to cities are generally not creative at all. And it makes sense. If they're so creative, why would they all go to the same place? Certainly not by chance. And then you realize it's probably because they're just doing what they think other creative people are supposed to do, which is the opposite of creativity. So then you realize cities are, for the most part, elaborate simulations of creativity, where millions of people flock by obeying the same script people like Patti Smith and all of them. You know, they lived in bombed out buildings basically, like living with crackheads for the most part, more or less. But then the overwhelming majority of people who go to such cities in the name of being free or open or creative are only really consuming this romantic image as a product, a kind of psychological premium, which explains why so many relatively poor people who could potentially choose to do otherwise nonetheless insist on paying extraordinary rent just to live somewhere quote-unquote open and creative. <laughs>